you know, but I, again, um, we're playing St. Joe's first, so sure. again, I can't focus on that home team. What I do know is um, they are they are a women's basketball fan base, just like Tennessee, and that's what what it's going to be like. They're going to be there watching our game and scouting us <laughs> and scouting St. Joe's um, to, to to determine who they're going to play and probably give Gino a scout report after the game. <laughs> that's my prediction. And you've had some freshmen that have really gained some experience over the second half of the season. Are they? You feel like they're prepared for the enormity of the NCAA tournament? No, I don't think you're ever prepared for the logos on the court and the, the media attention and just the whole atmosphere, but that's what's fun about it. That's what they need to experience. And I think that's one of the things that has helped us continue this streak is just the young players getting on the floor and playing. And I've always started freshmen every season I've been. They've always been a big part of what we do. And now you see um, all of our freshmen a part of what we do, and they're going to get on the court and play and get that experience. Play on and that then, court. Um, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. Um, I've never been to Connecticut, so that'll be another exciting experience for me. But just... I, I'm going to try to look at it as a regular game so I don't hype it up too much. But Part of the country, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's the first time I'm actually playing a collegiate game up north, so I'm excited. A lot of family and friends can finally come up and see me play, so that's nice. St. Joseph has, quite, has a history. I mean, it's kind of a one of those fun programs. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're a tough team. They've always been a tough program, and they've always been really respected, and it'll be nice to play them. It'll be interesting.